and in this episode I'll be showing you how to make a very easy beetle bot that moves and avoids obstacles. Here's a parts list, two DC motors, micro switches and some uh, spade connectors, two battery packs with independent switches, the tyres obviously, some chicken wire and of course the template itself. Starting with the antenna, just use a bundle of chicken wire to make it strong and also a little bit bendable and uh, just wrap them around each other and then from there I insert them into the uh, spade clips. Transferring the template onto a thick cardboard, that way it'll provide uh, structural integrity. It doesn't really matter what template you use as long as you have enough room for the uh, motor and the wheels and the power supply. Mark out the center and then from there place the uh, geared DC motors and leaving some room for the micro switches out the front. I used hot glue to uh, secure all the pieces, that way if I need to remove it and recycle the parts I can do so easily. This is one method of securing the uh, sensing antenna onto the micro switch. I'm just using uh, spade clips and some hot glue. It doesn't really matter as long as you find a way to secure the antenna to the uh, micro switch. and just testing the antennas collapse each micro switch. Okay, so the easy part is done. Now the tricky part is the wiring. I purposely slowed down the segment so you can see the wiring diagram. So I've purposely made this video a little bit longer, that way you can see how I've wired it. And then the battery packs are connected in series. And it's always a good idea to uh, test the validity of the circuit by ensuring that it moves forward when wired correctly. In this case it's moving forward. And now we can add the cover on. Circuit's complete and all the wires have been soldered on. Now you can pause the video to pay attention to the connections. So we've essentially completed the beetle bot. It's run by two battery packs. One of them will run forward, and the other one will run the motors backwards in opposite directions once the micro switch has been collapsed. So I'll just run it now just to show you. 
but of course this will be running forward in its natural motion. So when these switches do collapse, it will actually rotate on the spot to try and avoid the obstacle. I'll just quickly demonstrate on the table to show you how it works. And I think now we're good to test it in the house. And since kids are going to be playing with this, it's always a good idea to reinforce it with some more cardboard panels and give it a bit of a paint job for some uh, final touches.